What's going on guys? My name is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Very excited to be bringing you this first look at a new ROM, the Showstock ROM version 1.9.1 for the AT&T Galaxy S2. Let's get started. Alright guys, like I said, Showstock 1.9.1. This thing is full of goodies. The Showman94 is the developer and he has loaded this thing with a ton of stuff. Uh, accurate battery mod, CRT on and off animation, over scroll. It's running the Saya kernel. It is Gingerbread 2.3.6 based on the UCKK6 build for AT&T. Uh, it's also running the UCKK6 modem. So, like I said, ton of stuff. Uh, for a more accurate list, head over to XDA and uh, check out the thread. There's a ton of stuff. He's added this really cool boot animation here. Check out. So there you go. See, it boots up so fast you don't even see the full animation. Whenever you flash this for the first time, you'll get a uh, you'll be able to see the the entire animation with the cool transformer sound effects going. So TouchWiz is your standard launcher for this ROM. Um, I have added the other two, ADW and Go Launcher. And I am also me change the wallpaper here. No, that's not what we want. We'll put on this. So it's not so distracting. Okay, so you get TouchWiz by default here, and a um, ton of stuff. He has taken off a lot of the bloatware. He has also added the 14 toggles, quick toggles up here in the notification, including the flashlight, which is really cool. I always like to see that. Uh, you've got the, the semi-transparent glass pane there. The notifications you get here are um, backed in black though, so that makes it easy to see. Your app drawer, you've got the over scroll, not over scroll, but continuous scrolling. Uh, these are all my own personal apps in there. He has taken out most of the bloatware and um, added these couple of cool little apps here that I've, I've pulled out so we can take a look at. You've got Swipe Installer, which will install Swipe on there. It doesn't come pre-installed, but you can install it. Uh, you've got your Quick Panel settings, which will customize these up here, and that's awesome. So if you don't use Flight Mode, which I never use, uh, you can get rid of it. If you don't use, you know, if you don't want your reboot and power off up there, you can get rid of them. You can rearrange these as well. If you want your your flashlight to be first, you can do that. So then you've got edit tweaks, which uh, the only thing in there that you can do is you can change the clock and the battery up in the notification bar. There's the dialer pad. Didn't mean to hit that. And then Clockwork Mod Recovery app, um, which in that app you can do all your Clockwork Mod recovery goodies, flashing a new ROM, um, updates, reboots, things like that. So, good stuff. So that was the dialer, standard dialer. Uh, messaging, what it looks like. Take a look at, uh, like I said, you've got, you don't have uh, swipe, you've got Android and Samsung keyboard.
You've got the colorful icons in the uh, settings menu. The over scroll, as you see there. Two point three point six running the Sia kernel. Now I will say this: the um, this is version one point nine point one. One point nine was running the Entropy kernel, and the battery life was ridiculous. I had been using that build for about a week, and I was getting uh, I kid you not one and a half or two and a half days on a full charge of regular use. You know, uh, make phone calls, check uh, texting, checking email, going on the web, YouTube videos. I always use a live wallpaper. And um, go back, go back. So it's just ridiculous the um, battery life on this thing. Now I can't say that for sure on the new Saya running the Saya kernel. I haven't used it that much. But the, uh, with the Entropy, it was just unheard of. It's the best battery life I've ever seen on a, on a custom ROM. On any ROM, really, for that matter. It has the accurate battery mod, like I said. Um, also has the camera hack to where you can use the volume buttons to take a picture. So that's pretty cool. It's got the uh, extended power menu. So really, really nice ROM. Very impressed with it. Check it out over at xda.com. xdadevelopers.com. You can find the thread. All right, guys, that's it for me. Once again, this is Sam with mobiletechvideos.com. Stop by, check us out. It's an awesome website. Virtually anything you can need for your mobile device, whether it's parts, uh, services, anything. We can take care of or we can find it for you. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Also, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Share it with your friends. We appreciate it. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. See you next time.